Welcome back to a brand new episode of Master in Programming. In today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a batch QR code creator or generator where you can upload a CSV over here, just like I did here. And you get those links. And if I click on any of them, we simply instantly create a QR code for each of these. So if I click on that, you will see that it will just take a few seconds and then the QR code gets generated. Same thing for here and same thing for that one. If there's something that you're interested in, please make sure you do follow along this tutorial and give us a like and a subscribe if you liked it. Without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back guys. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning, we're going to be using Wix to create our batch QR code creator tool. Now, Wix is a great platform. It's entirely for free. Even what we're going to do now is entirely for free and the best thing, it's very easy. Now, the best thing, the best way for you to start if you don't already have an account is to simply type in Wix and let's go over here and you will need to click on website builder now i already have an account so it will take me here but you will simply need to follow the prompts they're very easy and they will take you to eventually this page as well now because i have a lot of wix websites i have 135 websites it shows like this but for you it might be empty so all we need to do is simply click on create new site and we're going to do this entirely from scratch together now it tells us here to start from a blank canvas or start from a template. I'm going to say build on the Wix editor. And I'll click on setup with that AI. Now all of this we can actually skip. I simply want a blank page for us to work with. And once it loads us in, this is now your website. Now you can see it says my site 19 we still need to give it a name so i will say something like qr code generator just like this i'll click continue and we can skip everything else skip and we can actually close this entirely now this is going to be your dashboard i'm not going to go over the dashboard of wix we simply want to create our tool so all i'll do is i'll click on design site and we can simply click on pick a template i'm just going to pick any of these templates it doesn't matter we are simply going to oh we can click on blank template and let's just click on that one now, once this loads, we need to, because we're going to be using code, what we need to do is we need to turn our account into a dev mode. And the best way and the easiest way to do this is to simply go over dev mode over here, and we're going to click on turn on dev mode. It's going to set it up. And once this finishes, you'll see that we're now able to write some code to the page that we're in. And we also have access to CMS, which is Wix's database, which we're going to be using. It's going to be very easy, even though it sounds complicated. But the best thing or the first thing that we need to do is click on pages and menus. I'm going to click on these three dots or click on settings. We're going to go to layer and make sure there's no header or footer because we want the QR code to fill the entire page, basically. And now what we want to do is for now, we can actually minimize the code and we can click on the plus icon. We can go to image. And let's go ahead and add any random image for now. So we can do, let's just pick this. And I want this to be a square. So what we want to do is we can click on toolbar. I want it to be exactly a square. So maybe 600 by 600. So we can come over here and click 600. And it is locked. So let's go ahead and cancel key proportions and that way that way i can do 600d and the full image becomes 600. now i'm going to be placing it just over there amazing cool now what we want to create now is a database and that database will simply be where we hurt where we upload our csv file so i have a very simple csv file here that has title and the url so YouTube, tap away and Google, and then the URLs for each. And what we want to do is well, we want to be able to upload this and automatically get a QR code for each of those like this. 
Now obviously if you have 500 links it will work exactly the same but for now I'm just going to be doing this example on three URLs so it's generate three QR codes. Let's go back over here and we're going to click on CMS. We're going to click on your collection. We're going to create a collection and we're going to click on get started. Start from scratch. I'm going to be calling it links and we're going to be keeping it multiple items just like this and we're going to click on create. Now at the moment we're going to keep it blank and then we're going to be once we write some code I'm going to be showing you how we can just input a CSV file this one and straight away generate all those QR codes. So for now let's close this. What I want to do is right click here and we're going to click add a dynamic page. We're going to click blank page, add to site. Now we want this page to be exactly like we have at home. So let's go ahead and click on this. We're going to click settings, permissions, oh sorry, layer, and no header, no footer. Let's also add the image, just how we duplicated it in the other one. So we can click on image. Let's select the marble one. Again, same thing, we'll click on settings and we're going to remove proportions. And then here we can change this to 600. Great. And this is where our QR code is going to be basically. Now, just so we know what's going on, let's also add two different texts. We're going to add a text over here and a text at the bottom just like this and this right on top of the QR code itself this will basically show the link and this will show the text or the title so we can change it just so that we don't forget title and this can be URL and this will be the QR code I know it doesn't look like it at the moment but I'll show you how we can do it great now the next step is going to be actually writing some code and it's going to be very easy but what we want to do just to summarize is we want to be able to upload the csv file this one into our database that we created and then straight away have this showing as the title the url and the qr code for that url over here um, and i'll also show you how we can flicker between the different qr codes that we're going to be creating so now what we need to do is we need to install a tool called QR code and all we need to do is simply hover over packages and apps. We need to click on install packages from NPM and we're simply going to be typing QR code. And if I just click on enter, the first one works really well. So I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to click on install. Amazing. So now that it is installed, we can actually use it to generate our QR codes. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to go to this button over here that says public and back end. We're going to click on add web module and over here I'm simply going to be calling it code generator just like this. Now here we can add some custom code for us and what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be controlling A and then removing oh, that didn't work. I'll simply just delete everything over here. Ooh. Sorry, I'll be going to code generator and I'll delete everything over here. Now what I can do is we can do import and maybe I can just zoom in a little bit like this. So we can say import, we're going to be putting an asterisk or a star as QR code from QR code. After that, we're going to say export async function generate qr code and inside of here we're going to be putting text we're going to open and close a zigzaggy bracket just like this and if you get any errors just like you saw it will be dismissed as we continue also i made a detailed video about this specific code i'll link it somewhere at the top make sure you click on it if you want extra information so after that we're going to be saying try and we're going to be saying let qr equal to await qr code dot to 
data URL. We're going to open a bracket and sort of he will be passing text. After that, we will be returning that QR code. Over here, we're going to be saying catch error. And then we are going to be saying console.log and we're going to be saying what the error is. Now, if you don't exactly understand this code, do not stress, you don't need to, it will still work exactly as you expect it to. Now, after this, that's actually all we need to do in this page. What we can do now is go to links, so this page, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be creating, so again, let's just zoom in. I'm going to be creating a function called async, and I'll say function generate QR code, sort of here we'll say string QR, and I'll open and close the zigzag bracket. And at the very top, let's now import that function that we created earlier. So I will say import, and then sort of here I'll say generate QR code, and I'll say from backend code generator, just like this. Now it's saying that it's unable to, cannot find module, let's have a look. It is over here, code generator. What I might do is I might actually just copy this. And let's actually run it and then see why it's not working. I think that just might be a glitch. But inside of this, because it's right here, so we know it exists. Um, inside of this function right here, what we can do is we can say let QR code data URL equal to await. And then we're going to say generate QR code. And then inside of here, we're going to be passing string QR code. And here, what we need to do is put a dollar sign, W, and then a hashtag. And then we need to check, if I just zoom out, this image, this is the one that we want to change into the QR code. And it says that it has an ID of image one. So we need to come over here and we need to type in image one. And we can say dot SRC, which stands for source. And we're simply going to say QR code data URL. Amazing. Now, this right here, whenever this function is going to be called, what will happen is that it will take the link that we're going to be providing it and it's going to pass it to that function. And then we're going to change that image, this one, to that QR code. Awesome. Now, when should we call this? Well, the best way is if I scroll down, this is our database and we can go over, click on it and then click on ready and click enter. Inside of here, we can say let URL equal to, and because we're going to be loading the URL inside of this text, then what we need to do is dollar sign W hashtag text to dot text. And then we're going to call this URL, uh, this function, sorry. And to do that, we can simply say generate QR code and sort of here we can pass that URL over here. Now let's go ahead and save this. And what I want to do is I actually want to publish this so that our code is actually working. And what we can do now is we can go back over here. Oh, sorry. We can click here. We can click on my dashboard. And let's go to CMS. So this is now from your dashboard. You don't need to go to the editor again, but this is basically the website. You can see it's empty now. But what we can do is we can click on CMS and we have a database here. I'll click on it. 
Now let's import CSV file. So we're going to batch create this. Choose a file. And I've got my file saved in downloads over here, links. Let's upload it. Next, import. And once it imports this, you'll realize that we've got another column that got generated automatically here called links. Now, if I preview this now, if our code worked well, what should happen is that this should have our title, a URL and our QR code, but it's actually not. So nothing is happening. Um, so let's have a look as to why. And I think it's actually because we forgot to connect it. So let's go ahead and click on title. Click on this button. It's connected to the links database. Now we can click text connects to and we're going to say title. And close this. Let's go to the URL one. Click on this button. Text connects to and we're going to select URL. Like this. Let's go ahead and publish. Now let's go back over here and if we refresh this it's still not working so let's have another look generate qr code if i go here generate qr code i think this could have been the issue so let's publish again to update our changes and now if I go over here and click on preview. So I actually managed to just figure out what the problem is. Uh, over here, we have it saved as .web.js. Let's click on rename this and change it to JSW. And now this looks like this. And over here, we don't have any errors. So now if I publish this, and we go back to our CMS. Let's go ahead and close these and let's refresh this page as well. If I go ahead and click on the links, fingers crossed this works and it did not work. Oh, there we go. So it created YouTube. It showed us the link and then it showed us the QR code. Now I'm gonna have a look and see if it works. So I'm scanning this and it opened to YouTube. Let's go ahead and click on CMS and open this one and see if it changes. It takes a few seconds, but you can work on something like that. And again, the QR code is generated. Finally, let's go ahead and click on Google. And again, it's also going to be changing. Now you can customize this how you want. For example, if you don't want to show the text or the link, all you need to do is you can actually get rid of the text at the top, we don't necessarily need it, but the one on the second, we are using it in the code. So if you want to just hide it, you can simply come to edit text and design text, sorry, and go over the color and you can make it white. And now I'll publish this. And now if I go over here, you will see that oh, this might have not updated. Takes a bit sometimes for things to publish. You can see that nothing shows up, but the QR code is still showing. Thanks so much for watching this episode. I hope you did enjoy it and I hope you did like it and benefit from it. Please let me know down in the comments if you liked it or not or what I can do to improve it and make it better.